Oh, while, while editing this video, I forgot to preface something at the start of the video. This only works for the 64-bit version of uh, the game. So if you want to run this setup that I do in this video, 64-bit version of the game. Not 32-bit, 64-bit. So if you have an emulator and you're running 32-bit or ARM v7, it's not going to work. Yeah, they have the 64 ARM 64 version of it. So yeah, anyway. Hey guys, this is your boy Philly. Uh, also known as uh, Crazy on Domingo, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna publish this not on my main channel, but on my alternate channel, because why not? Anyway, so uh, my voice may go in and out of this because I'm keep moving away from the mic. Anyway, uh, so before I even start anything, I'm, I'm gonna preface: if y'all get banned for this, don't blame me. Y'all should know cheating bad. Don't 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 cheat. You don't want to ban, etc. Anyway, so. Uh, yeah, as to why any of this may matter to anyone that may want to use this is uh, in case you don't want to root your emulator. Um, this is mainly for anybody that plays this game on emulator on a Windows PC. I don't know if this works on Mac because I don't have a strong enough Mac to play games or even on an emulator without crashing. So I can't test that. And uh, there's no reason for me to go out of my way to purchase a new MacBook just to try that. It doesn't make any sense on a monetary level. Unless someone wants to buy me a Mac, then, you know, we could go that route. Mm, but so as to why anybody may want to use this particular method, uh, it's uh, for those that don't want to root or enable roots on BlueStacks for some reason or whatever emulator that you may be using. If it's not already rooted out, uh, out of the box and you don't want to turn it on for some reason, you could go that route. Or uh, normally people who mod this game, they install one of those mod APKs that has a mod menu incorporated inside of it, which allows you to turn on and off various cheats that they have that I haven't figured out how to make and there's a good chance I'm not gonna figure out how to make because I've already lost interest in this game so that's why I'm making this video uh, but also some of those ABKs they're uh, infected with malware and spyware that could possibly um, phone back everything that you're doing on your computer plus the emulator back to their home server and uh, basically they're just gonna be calling for data that uh, may be vulnerable to you at some point in the future. And so anybody that's paranoid or worried about that, that's another reason why you may not want to go that route and use those those uh, publicly available APKs. Because as they say, if something's free, you are the customer. Wait, hold up, screwed up. Uh, no, what I meant to say was if something's free, you are the product. That's what I meant to say. I did not mean to say customer. I meant to say product, but you know, long ass video. I had a lot to think about. Anyway. Moving on. Not in this case. This is a free video and I'm not making anything off of it. But yeah, uh, if there's ads, it's probably because the music that I'm using. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the f so there's three mods. I'm not going to put them in, in, in the description. Since it's a free video, you can type the numbers out yourself. Uh, this is currently on version 1.5.3. These values may work in future versions. I don't know. I can't predict that. I'm not a psychic yet not, not in this lifetime but maybe maybe next one we'll see <laughs> i've been reading a lot of mod work. anyway so the first one can pretty much be turned on at any time the other two however have to be turned on at very specific times so yeah i'm gonna go in game and uh you'll see that i'm gonna have some trouble de uh, defeating some of these enemies even though this is a pretty low stage i didn't take the time to really level up my tune so yeah but anyway, so um, there's this first mod which is dramatically weaken the monster's HP. I'm not really sure the effects, I kind of just made the value. Uh, but it should, for the most part, lower the, um, the, uh, the, the HP value down by about 90, 95%. So they shouldn't be too hard to kill. In some cases, like 98, 99. But, uh, so before I even select the target, um, so when you have cheat engine, uh, this is going to require cheat engine, right? You're going to need to set up cheat engine in, in a particular way to work with the Windows emulators because not Windows emulators, but Android emulators, because sometimes uh, some emulators don't work with cheat engine right, right out the box. So you got to go into your edit and go to settings on cheat engine and go to, I believe my settings I have in extras, select all three. Uh, debugger options use VAH uh, debugger. Sometimes I've noticed in Windows debugger it doesn't work for all emulators, and sometimes it just search results don't pop up. So uh, use VAH. That's my recommendation. It's up to you. Try either or. Uh, I believe Windows debugger it does work smoother, and there's 
less chance of uh, kid engine crashing, but like I said, it doesn't work for all emulators. So I use VEH. Uh, and then scan settings, I have all three of these down here checked. I don't, I'm pretty sure everything else I have here is all default, just in case I'll go through them. Uh, now, this is, I'm using version 7.2. I don't know if this will work on the newer versions of Cheat Engine. So, and there's no point for me to go out of my way to install a newer version and test that because I'm fine with this one. There's no way for me. There's no reason for me to go up. Uh, and also, it's a free video. There's no reason for me to do that. So after you have all that set up, you want to target uh, the uh, BlueStacks uh, um, um, Android player. All right. So in BlueStacks, it's called uh, HD player. All right. I'm going to select that. And then uh, go and select uh, value tucked to 8 bytes. And I'm going to search for this. Actually, before that, I'm going to hit advanced option and pause the game because sometimes scanning since i have a really old computer uh whenever i do a scan and uh and the game's running my computer can crash and turn off so yeah all right so when i do a scan i have three results i'm going to pop all those down control a to select all and control a again here to uh to uh, select them all, double click, and then I'm gonna use this down here. This is gonna be my uh, replace value. So the first one search, this is replace. Hit OK, and when I unpause, if if uh, if it still works on the next spawn, uh, they're going to be weaker. All right, uh, so we'll see. Yeah, so as you can see now, I'm one shotting them uh, because their health. Because 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 before when I was hitting them normally, it. it it would take about 75% damage when I would when I would hit them. So now that their HP is 90, 95% less, naturally it's a one shot. Uh, yeah. As to how far you can go with this before you get banned, I don't know. I haven't tested that out yet. I'm not have I've, I'm bored of this game to a point where I don't want to play it or buy it anymore. But I'm not bored enough to get my account banned. So, yeah. That's weird, right? Someone tell me that's weird and stupid, ridiculous. Someone tell me, please. And this particular mod can be turned on at the menu screen, not menu screen, but at the title screen uh, before you load into the game as, as well, which is fine. Um, the other two, however, can only be turned on when uh, when you, when the moment you you spawn into the game. If if uh, your character moves a pixel, they uh, you you can't turn them on anymore because. Uh, there are mods that are called runtime mods and um the first one is a runtime mod which means you can turn the mod on you you you, you can modify or manipulate that data when the game is at, is running already that's why it's a runtime mod the other two aren't uh they have to be turned on at a specific time and you have a very specific window to use it if if uh, those particular uh if, if that particular data is accessed by the game already uh then you can no longer modify it because wherever it's stored and whatever it's put in because it's put into a container in a sense that's the easiest way to explain it and then unless you know what that container is the values for that container you're, you're not able to modify it anymore because the value is no longer where it originally was at so that's why you have to turn it on before it's accessed well when it propagates but then before it's accessed so so the values only propagate when you spawn in but the moment you move the value moves somewhere else so i'm gonna close this out i'm gonna restart the game and i'm gonna fast forward to where uh the game is at the menu not menu the title screen but i'm gonna delete this because i don't need that anymore those values are useless now all right so right here i'm gonna pause the game and i'm gonna do that uh the dramatically weaken here all right and uh and i don't know if my voice cut out during the scan but so when we go in game on i'm gonna pause it again and uh because you have a very short window so uh hopefully i catch it in this particular take let me go in and okay pause right when you start spawning in scan for instant transmission and uh this is basically fast walk or in this case it's more like instant walk so I'm gonna copy this and uh, paste this here. And then when I unpause it, as you can see now, whenever he moves around, he's moving really fast. Sometimes it's instant, sometimes he just moves really fast, which is kind of funny, but that's just how it works. All right. Um, unless the school, un un unless it was the skill cooldown mod that, uh, that 
returns a bunch of values that also makes it move fast. I don't, I don't remember. I, I rarely use these things individually. So, yeah. Anyway, um, so the skill cooldown is also uh, set up just before uh, you spawn in. So for me to turn that on, I would have to restart the game and do it again. So I'm going to do that now. But as you can see, he's moving a lot faster and he's killing them a little faster because the delay between moving between enemies is short. All right. So uh, I'm going to close that out. And then I'm going to restart this again. And I'm going to delete these values because I don't need them anymore. All right. So I'm just going to do them all later. But uh, so now I'm going to go into the game and pause it just be just when I spawn in. All right, cool. And I'm going to do all three of them again. Uh, yeah. I was gonna fast forward this part, but I changed my mind. I'm not doing that. I'm just gonna go through. All right, and then I'm just gonna copy these and drop these down here and paste. Okay, so now if I unpause it, okay, now it's instant transmission. So let me change this name to Fast Walk. Yeah, let's do that. Fast Walk. Ha ha ha. <laughs> all right so yeah so it's it's, it's it's like i said it's because i don't use them individually um so yeah fast walk becomes instant transmission when you do skill cooldown uh, <clears throat> the reason for that is possibly because it returns so many values and one of the other ones that doesn't one of them doesn't go to the skill and one of them goes to something else possibly the walking speed so that being said i haven't actually tested out what happens if you just do skill cooldown by itself without fast walk i don't know if that would make him move quickly you know just for the case of you know science i should probably look into that right now but anyway um but first uh so some of the skills when they're on on instant cooldown or whatever or, or when the cooldown is turned off uh, actually makes your killing speed slower such as chain dash so if i go and use that you're going to see that it takes longer to kill things because chain dash uh attacks individual enemies and sometimes it misses so yeah as you can see all right so that's not a great one to use so uh the first one summon lightning works perfectly fine um and it speeds it up pretty well and it hits multiple targets so yeah uh i haven't figured out how to adjust the game speed there's people that have figured it out i haven't um and uh, those people have no uh, business talking to me there's no point in us having a conversation because yeah they want to keep their secrets to themselves and i don't want to divulge various secrets that i know how to do on other things so it's a lose-lose situation for both parties. So anyway, so let's uh, let's move on. Let me not move on. I mean, this is pretty much the end of the video, so you can just stop watching here. Uh, this is going to be like a 15-minute video, if not longer. Uh, so I'm going to test out what happens if I do just skill cooldown without uh, without fast walk and see if that uh, doesn't matter. All right, I'm going to close this up. I'm going to restart it. All right, so let's go back in and pause. All right, cool. Now I'm going to, again, do this one. I could have just double. Oh shit! You know what? Fine. Let's 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 do that one first, since I you know I have that selected. Why not? All right. Okay. Cool. And then I'm just gonna do this one. Do that. Drop these. Do this. All right. Unpause. Okay. So fast walk is no. There's no point for fat weight. Yeah, yeah, there's there's no point for a fast walk. The skill cooldown moves you over instantly. You know what? I'm just gonna, you know, instant transmission. Yeah, let's put it on here. <laughs> Again, ha, 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 <laughs> All right, so, yeah, it is what it is. I could, if if I wanted this video to be, you know, somewhat decent somewhat professional you know whatever i would re-record this again and be you know correct but you know there's no point there's no reason some some so many guys like watching me screw up mid-recording so it is what it is
All right then. Adios. Bye bye. Do what you do and uh, like and subscribe. Uh, if you, if, if, if you want various exclusive mod APKs uh, for various games that hopefully I get around to doing again <laughs> uh, join my my, uh, my members on uh, my channel members on my main channel but anyway yeah uh, out of here bye adios see ya